Chapter 26 Going Alone The boys came out from behind and under the tables. They gathered in the middle of the room, feeling for each other in the darkness. A few were crying. Questions were shouted by shaking voices. Everyone, settle down! Sebastian's harsh command silenced the rising voices. Just shut up, everyone, let me think! We're all fine! His words shook Jonathan with a realization. All? What about Colin? He's lower down than we are. We have to go save him! Sebastian shook his head. No way, we're not going past that hatch if it's open. We have to, he'll drown. So will we if we go after him. We're staying right here until the storm stops. We can sit up on the tables. No, Sebastian, we have to. No, Johnny, we can't save him. Sebastian's voice was as hard as the sword glinting in his hand. We're not going to die trying. Jonathan swallowed. His whole body was trembling with cold, with anger, with fear. He rubbed his arms with shivering hands, feeling the burns and scars through his wet sleeves. He imagined he could hear Colin crying for help. In his mind, he saw soggy, water-ruined paper birds, rain-soaked flowers. I'm going, he said, and his voice was soft, but at least as hard as Sebastian's. Sebastian blinked and breathed hard through his nose. His jaw muscles rippled. Fine, but you're going alone and you can't save him. Yes, I can. Don't go, Tony said. Don't do it, man, Walter pleaded. It's crazy, Gerald yelled. The, Walter w the water was halfway up their calves now. Let me have a lantern, Jonathan said into Sebastian's eyes. Sebastian glanced quickly around. We only have three left, Sebastian said. Jonathan kept his eyes locked on Sebastian's unblinking. After a moment, Sebastian blinked. Fine. Take one. Better bring a candle, too. Without another word, Jonathan jerked a lantern out of the nearest kid's hand. He yanked a candle out of the holder by the doorway. He was two steps into the corridor when a sudden thought stopped him. Patrick, he exclaimed, the coal room is flooding. He looked at Roger and Gregory. They didn't look tough at all. They looked soaking wet and scared. Go get him and bring him up. The two boys didn't move except to look at Sebastian. After a moment, he nodded. They turned and jogged toward the coal room. Jonathan adjusted his grip on the lantern's slippery handle and took off into the darkness as fast as he could through the rising water. Good luck, Walter shouted after him. Then another kid shouted the same thing. As he sprinted around the first corner and out of earshot, Jonathan heard a chorus of scared voices shouting the same thing. Their voices echoed behind him, following him into the black, flooded maze of Slabhenge. Good luck!